so one one thing I that I just wanted to say one thing I wanted to say quickly I was drawn to sort of this area and in particular as you can see there's a wall over there um, where you know people's names are for cremations or whatnot and I have been drawn to this area so um, Danielle if you're watching can you let me know if um, any of your loved ones are in this area here because I am drawn and I just had the um, waves of energy down there so that's interesting hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Julie and you are with unearthly wanderings today I've come to the Quimbian Lawn Cemetery I actually had um, I had a viewer uh, by the name of uh, Danielle um, uh, contacted me on one of my other videos and asked me if I could please return to the Queen Bee Cemetery. Now I have asked for a little more details but I haven't as yet got those. I have asked her um, sort of what she would like me to do and um, but I haven't made a video for a little while due to a few circumstances which I'll share with you soon um, and so uh, I thought I'd come out here today and just make a quick video. So, Danielle, this one's for you. Um, now, what I'm doing right now, I'm just walking around and sort of getting a feel for the place right now. I'm getting, um, you know, like you get the, the goosebumps on your skin. And you feel like the wave of energy through your body I'm, I'm getting that right now um, so as you can see behind me there's been somebody newly buried there's a couple more newly buried over there um, there's another one over there and another one over there so there's been a few that have been buried here um, quite recently you can still see where the dirt is um, now I don't want to be filming any of those out of respect what I was hoping to do oh I got that feeling again um, I'm going to turn the spirit box on in a second um, but what I would like to do first of all uh, what I normally do is say um, to all the spirits here I come in peace I do not mean any harm by being here wow I just got a really bad smell I do not mean any harm by being here I'm here and um, I'm just wishing to communicate with you today. Um, now I have had a viewer by the name of Danielle and she has said that she has a grandmother, grandfather and a cousin here. I don't know what gender the cousin is, but if those loved ones have been watching Danielle and they know she contacted me, if you could please come to me wherever you are. Um, that would be wonderful. You can come and communicate with me. So as you can see over there, guys, um, they're actually digging a, um, a hole for someone to be buried. So someone will be buried soon. Um, so what I thought I would do, there's a little bit of wind around today, the weather is just on and off, um, and where I was going to go, ironically, there's a tractor there digging a hole, and it's weird because last time I came here, I once again wanted to come up here to this section, I hope you guys can see me, I wanted to come up to this section last time, and there was a funeral, so I couldn't come up here. And now I'm wanting to go back there again and they're digging the hole. So the noise, you wouldn't be able to hear me over the noise. I'm going to put my jacket on again. I don't know if I'm getting sick or if it's just the weather today, but I keep getting hot, cold, hot, cold. And there's another plane. Look. See? You're going to have to let me know if I'm right or not, but I'm being drawn up here. It's either for you or it's for someone else that's supposed to see it. Please come and speak with us right now. Give us any messages you have. Here we go, guys. I'm 
I'm just going to test the volume first. Here we go. Hello, is there anyone here that can communicate with us, please? Can you say hello for us? Yeah. 
charge up for a second. What's in the sky? That's never sound like aeroplane. I'm just going down to this area here before we finish up. into the camera. Can you say goodbye? Who said help me? Who needs help? What do you need help with? Oh, 
I am human. I am a psychic. Like I just heard human. There's another bench further up. We'll go for a walk up there before I turn it off. If you want to talk to me, you've got to come and talk now. I'm going in a minute. Now's your chance to say hello. Tell your family I love you. Come talk to me. You need help. What do you need help with? Did you find the light? Do you know when you die you need to go into the light? Grandfather, I could have been. Is there anything I need to know?
the day. Okay. Um, I will say to the spirits here, you have just a moment if you want to say anything um, before I reach my car and the noisiness of the tractor. I don't even know if that was a word, but hey, I used it. So uh, I do have to go and help out at the school today, so I have to um, head off soon. I can't stay here any longer. All right, guys, uh, thank you for coming along and watching. Thank you for enjoying the uh, um, Unearthly Wanderings video. And until next time, stay safe and keep doing what you love. Bye, guys. See you later. Hello everyone. Before I go, I just wanted to say something. Can you see that? You see how that's shaking? That's my hand. Something's got a hold of me right now. That is so weird. I'm sorry guys. Um, so I just wanted to get on here and say something and um, my viewer that was here today, I'm dedicating this video to you. The Lawn Cemetery video. Um, you and your family, I'm very sorry for your loss and for anyone else watching who has loved ones here or somewhere else, um, I'm very sorry for your loss as well. You know, I'm going through something right now. Well, I'm not, but a family member is and we're going to lose them in probably the next year. And it breaks your heart when you're helpless and you can't do any more. So I feel each and every one of your pain. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I do this. Why I am now a paranormal investigator. Because I want to get clear evidence of the other side. And I want to bring people messages and maybe some sort of closure if I can, if it helps. The thing we have to remember with the other side is that in my belief, I believe that sometimes our loved ones are supposed to be guides and our guides work in a way where you won't always hear what you want to hear. You will hear what they need to tell you. So even if you turn around and you're like, well, my answers weren't, my, my questions weren't answered and they didn't tell me anything. Well, you have to listen to the deeper meaning and you have to listen to what they're saying because it could be a warning about something that's gonna happen. It could be something that you need to know at that point in time, um, but it may not be the answer to your question, like I said. So just keep that in mind. Um, also too, when you, like me, I don't have a specific connection with your loved ones. So unless I am, you know, at their resting place, um, at their gravestone, at their place of residence, some, unless I am somewhere where there is an energy trace of your loved ones, it is not guaranteed that I am going to be able to communicate with them unless they come through to me when they hear your name um, or their name. Um, it's just the way the paranormal world works, unfortunately. Um, it would be amazing if we could bring them through at the click of a fingers, but it doesn't always work that way. So that was just a little message and something to keep in mind, guys, when you're watching these kinds of shows and things like that. Okay, thank you for listening, guys. And um, to all of you who have lost and loved, you're in my prayers. See you later, guys.